So my name's Scott. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about this new Nova Titan 3. Uh, it's a super big chuck for turning super big stuff, faces and vessels and bowls and I like to turn big stuff. This isn't really big but it's a pretty good example and you can see it next to me. You can see it's a pretty good size bowl. A red oak bowl. This is what I used to use. I have two G3, Nova G3 chucks. Um, and I had the two and a half inch jaws, two and a half, uh, two inch jaws, I'm sorry. So that was as big as I got before. Um, so this was really heaven sent when I got a hold of this. Because this is the difference right here between the two chucks. And this chuck, you can see this has two screws that hold the, the jaws in. The new chuck has three screws that hold the jaw in, and it's super tight. And it also has these gripping things on the inside of the jaw for tenon use. And then it also has a dovetail on the inside and also a dovetail on the outside so you can bevel this and and uh, use it on your tenon or mortars. This chuck is five inches on the outside and it opens all the way up to six and a half, full six and a half. When I unboxed this uh, it came with the chuck body and then a set of jaws and the T-handle uh, and, a, and a screw kit and a worm screw which I don't use. I use all face plates so I don't use a worm screw. Um, and what I did was clean all these parts up because they come with some some grease on it to, to avoid corrosion while shipping and on and on. Um, I just clean it up and then uh, for maintenance I use this PG2000 which I just get at a woodworking store and it helps clean and it also lubricates it. This comes with a six year warranty this chuck. <laughs> Okay, so now we've come outside and we're going to turn or cut a blank to turn. Um, this is my, my turn pile. Uh, I have a motto which is turn it or burn it in that order. Um, I got a nice little pile of cherry burls over here. Uh, we get into here, there's some older cherry, a big log of honey locust. I got a nice big log of red oak over here. And then we have some black walnut and some ambrosia maple which you see a lot of my work online has a lot of this ambrosia maple I just cut a cookie off here so you could see the kind of stuff that was in there so what I'm going to do is take my log and I already have started here I see that the crack is going this way down this so that's going to start the right way and not not end up getting a crack through the middle of the bowl so I'm going to make a cut down through here and I'll get back to you after that. All right, so now I'm gonna find the center. This is 15 and a quarter, so we're gonna call it seven and a half and a smidge. And then this is just under 15, so we'll do just under seven and a half and a smidge. Put a screw in. No, I don't have a compass. <laughs> just always done it this way. And I just need kind of a guide here. Pretty close. Start over here. That'll do her. All right, so that's pretty close to round. And I take as much as I can off of it because then it saves on the roughing process. Let's go inside and make a bowl. We're back inside. Um, I did not know if I mentioned this before, but I have a Nova DVR 2024, which is pretty much my dream lathe. Um, I worked my way up. I'm not a pro by any means. I've been turning about eight or nine years, and this is my fifth lathe. So this is a big, big, big step for me and I finally got to where I wanted to be. So we're back inside. I have a blank cut. I'm going to mount it up to a face plate. I still have my center line here. I leave the first one out a little bit and not snug it up. So we can keep, 
keep our center. So this part is a little tricky with a heavy piece. And this big a piece, I'm going to start down around 200 RPMs and see where we go. As I start to get it true, we'll speed it up a little bit. Because more speed means more material. So we got the outside of the bowl turned out pretty close to a finish. This is wet wood, so I'm probably going to wait a little while for it to do a final sand. But now we want to measure out here. I already got the center of my bowl. Um, and we said before that the Titan goes from uh, five to six and a half inches. So I'm going to hit it right in the middle at uh, three inches. Just turn it around. I can just spin it around. This is going to leave a nice big photo on the bottom of the bowl. I won't even have to flip it around and finish it again. Got our mortise cut. We're going to go ahead and put this big old Titan 3 on the back of it. Crank it right in. You can see that dovetail just grabs the bottom of that mortise. Spin it around. I like to go back and forth on both sides of the gears. Good and snug. So I'm putting some pretty serious force on this Titan Chuck. As you can see, I'm blowing out some big pieces here. And it's not moving. I got a little bit of a knot going here, but that's going to disappear by the time we get to the inside. So, we got her all hollowed out and sanded up. And now we're swathering some mineral oil on it, literally. And we're going to take her out of the chuck and call it a day. We've got a real nice big cherry bowl, about 15 inches by probably 7 or 8 inches. I really like this Nova Titan 3 and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.